Good morning students. Welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to copy and how to move an object or how to rotate and flip an object. In today's video, we will be dealing about resize or skew an image. So first of all, what do you mean by resizing? Increasing or decreasing the size of the selected object on the screen is called resizing. A picture can be resized either horizontally or vertically. To resize means to increase or decrease the size of the drawing. Next coming to the skew. The skew option gives a slanting effect to the selected picture on the screen. Now let us see how to resize or skew a picture. To resize or skew a picture, first you have to select the picture using the tool. That we have the select tool. So I am going to select over here a rectangular selection tool and I am going to select my picture in this manner. Now on the home tab, click on the resize option present in the image group. So as soon as you click on the resize option, you can see a dialog box of resize and skew will appear on the screen. In the resize section, you can either have percentage or pixel radio buttons. So you can specify the new size value in the horizontal box and the value in the vertical box that is 100. So here I am going to change it to 75 and you can see the value in the vertical box automatically gets changed once I entered it in the horizontal box. Now in the skew section the value is entered in degrees in both the horizontal and vertical boxes. So over here, I'm going to enter, let it be 25 and for the vertical, let it be 50. Now click on OK and you will see the image will be resized and skewed as per the entered value. So in this manner, you can resize and skew any object that is present in your Microsoft paint. Now coming to the second option that is opaque and transparent option in paint. Now to add a background color to a text box you have to first go to the home tab select the text tool in the tools group. So over here we have various tools present in the tools group. Now first let me tell you the names of the tool that are present in the tools group. Now first, this tool is known as your pencil tool. So it draw a free from line with the selected line width. This tool is known as your fill with color tool. This fill the foreground color or we can right click to fill it with the background color. The third tool we are dealing with is the text tool. It is used to insert the text into the picture. The fourth tool is we are having eraser. So this part of a picture can be erased using the eraser tool. Then we have over here that is the color picker. So this picks a color from the picture and use it for drawing. Then we have a magnifier that change the magnification for a part of the picture. Now we will first deal with the text tool. So we'll click on the text tool and bring the pointer to the drawing area and click and drag the pointer to draw text box. So you can see I have drawn a text box and as soon as you create the text box you will see a ribbon will 
appear. So by default, the transparent option is selected in the background group. So you can see over here, we have a transparent option being selected in the background option. So select the opaque option in the background. So you can see over here, I have selected the opaque option. Now select the color 2 button in the colors group. So I'll click on the color 2 and choose any desired color from the colors option. So I'll click on the green option and you will see the text box gets filled with the selected color. So now you can type it over here any desired text if you wish to in this manner. So you can see the transparent option does not give any outline or background color to the text box. So this option keeps only the text not the border of the text box. So for the border and the outline of the text you have to select the opaque option present over here. So opaque option gives you an option of background and outline. Next coming to the topic that is zooming the drawing. Now suppose I wish to increase the view size of the drawing or I wish to decrease the view size of the drawing. So this technique is known as zoom. So zoom means to increase or decrease the view size of a drawing. Now to zoom in you have to first click on the view tab. Now we'll go to the view tab and you will see there is an zoom in option present over here. So if you want a large size of your drawing then you can click on the zoom in option. Now you can see over here I have clicked on the zoom in option and my drawing gets larger. So in this manner if you want a larger picture then you can click on the zoom in option. Now to zoom out you can click on the zoom out button that is present on the view tab. Now you can see the view size of the drawing gets smaller in this manner. So you can either zoom in to increase or zoom out to decrease. The default view size of paint display screen is 100%. So you can see over here by default we have a 100% over here. So I'll just click on the 100% by default. So this is the default view size of paint. So clicking on the 100% button at the bottom of the screen brings the drawing view back to the normal size. Remember students, zoom command increase or decrease the view size of the picture, not the actual size of your picture. Now coming to the last topic of your chapter that is setting a drawing as a desktop background. To set your drawing as a desktop background, first you have to click on the file tab. So when you will click on the file tab, you have to select an option that is present over here set as desktop background. So you can click on the select as desktop background option from the drop down list and you can choose any one of the three options that is fill, tile or send. So you can click and you can set your drawing as your desktop background. If you have to save your drawing, you can simply click on control plus S keyboard shortcut to save your drawing. So hope students. How to zoom in and zoom out is clear to all of you. So thank you students.